<laughs> okay, Art Sports here with Colleen, Super Collider Schneider. I like that. Uh, that has a nice little ring to it right there. Tell us, uh, tell us how you got that nickname. Uh, it's because of the, uh, the physics background. I have a, my degrees in physics. I did my research in astrophysics, so the Super Collider is a super nerdy reference to that. And also Megadeth, so I'll take, a, take it on both sides. Right. Uh, you're fighting January 21st. You have an opponent already? I do have an opponent. Uh, it was just confirmed I will be fighting Chrissy Daniels at 125 pounds. So it was originally Rebecca Ruth. She injured her back a little over a week ago, and then Bellator was working like crazy to try and find me someone because I really, really, really wanted to be on this card. What's that like when you hear someone's injured, then you're kind of, obviously they're trying to keep the date, you still got to keep the training up, but mentally you're kind of like, is this really going to happen? What Kind of walk us through that. So... Having the opponent change doesn't doesn't bother me, but having that whole period where I didn't even know if the fight was going to happen because I didn't know if they would find someone, it's hard. It's hard. You know, it's the end of the camp. You've been you've been going hard for months. You're uh, you're trying to get your weight down. So, not knowing whether it's going to happen or not, even if they were like you're 100% fighting, we just don't know who. Okay, good, got it. But the whole maybe we're not going to find anybody it's 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 a little hard to deal with uh, why am i doing all this weight cut stuff and all yeah, that yeah yeah but i i i'm pretty happy with how i was able to, to stay on it and stay disciplined and you know just keep keep my head level and get out there and training you're fighting at the flyweight division is the goal for a title fight right after this kind of build up to it what are kind of the the goals going I will take a title fight tomorrow if they give it to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I want I want the Bellator Flyway title as soon as it happens. I want to be on the inaugural fight for that. That is absolutely my goal. But it's not up to me. The most I can do is go out there and put on a great show and you know show that I deserve to fight for that title. Let's talk about uh, women's MMA for a little bit. Obviously, the big fight last year, Ronda Rousey was coming back. There was a lot of hype about it. Um, a lot of kind of people in the in the game kind of thought it was a little too much to bite off right in the beginning to kind of come back. What were your thoughts on, on her kind of going after Amanda right away and then just kind of the result of everything? I don't know where her head was at. I mean, I mean, you do in some sense in retrospect, seeing how she fought, you know, she wasn't there. She didn't really want to be there, but it's a, it's a hard place that she was in having the, her, her career the way she did. And then that loss to Holly. So it's easy for people on the outside to come in and say, you should do this, you should do this. But you know, she's she's a fighter. She's going to take whatever opportunity she can get, and it's not. You know, it's ultimately it's her, it's on her to do. Plus, who who is going to say no? I don't want to fight for the UFC title. If that's an option, you know, no one's, who's going to turn that down? Exactly, exactly. The same kind of thing. Like people hate on CM Punk for going to the UFC, but if it's an option, you know, why why would you not do that? Right? You want you want to test yourself. You want to fight the best people you can fight can't fear your own success and, and they strive for greatness, right. they try. Yeah, like most people don't have those opportunities, so it's easy to, to speak about it, yeah, yeah. Well, I wanted to ask you also, like, the whole kind of her going into that with the no speaking to the media, even after the Holly loss, kind of immediately just, I don't want to fight for a while, I, you know, kind of the interview she did with Alan, kind of I'm suicidal, whatever, I mean, you, you've had losses before, when you had your loss, were you kind of like, I want to get back in there, I want to like kind of reverse that, I want to kind of get back in the win column, or did you kind of have that that certain space where you're like, let me kind of just mentally check out for a little bit and... No, my, I'm, uh, my reaction is the complete opposite of hers, but I've also had a much different career, you know, my, my first pro fight I lost, so and anytime I lose, I am in the gym the next day, like, okay, got, got things to work on, got to fix this, let's do this, let's make it better. Like I love, I love fighting, I love training, I don't want to be away from it. Uh, I want to ask you, a lot's been talked about recently with MMA and boxing, the world's colliding with Conor and, uh, and Floyd Mayweather. What are your thoughts on that whole situation? Um, boxing's running out of money fights, so it's a way to to get some hype. And, I mean, maybe it seems very ridiculous, but I'd pay to see it, you know? Right, yeah. <laughs> so, so why not? I mean, it's, it's sports entertainment. How, how does that play out, do you think, if Conor kind of... Puts, all, puts away all the kind of other training and, and just focuses on boxing for a little while and, and, and gets in the ring with Mayweather. I mean, of course, there's always that chance that Conor has such power in his left hand. There's that chance that he could crack him. But Mayweather's fought plenty of people that have that power, and he just plays the boxing game and plays to the boxing rule set so well and has been his entire career, whereas Conor's been playing to a much different rule set. So, you know, it's clearly to Mayweather's advantage. 
but I'd still watch it. Well, of course, yeah, you want to see what happens. <laughs> yeah. What, uh, what was it about MMA that brought you to that sport as opposed to, because I know female boxing has always kind of had, um, you know, some, like with Mia St. John, uh, Chrissy Martin, Layla Ali, but MMA not so much. What was it about that brought you over to the MMA side? It had nothing to do with women being in the sport at all. Um, and I was never into boxing, actually. It was, I came from, from karate and taekwondo. Um, with MMA, it was the fact that everything was there, right, which boxing doesn't have. I loved that you could take the fight anywhere at any moment, like the, the, the beauty and the openness of the sport. Like, I saw that, and I was just in love with that. That's awesome. Um, tell us about your style, fans who haven't seen you fight before. What can they expect uh, when they watch you on Saturday night? Uh, well, I come from my, my karate, my taekwondo background, so I love uh, I love I love spinning shit. I love throwing kicks. Um, I'm a dynamic a dynamic striker, but I have a, a solid wrestling and submission grappling background. A submission grappling world champion. So uh, my job is to go out there and make it exciting for everyone to watch, no matter where it goes. What do you know about your opponent's style? Because you just got her like today or something, right? Or like yeah. a, a couple of days ago? Not not much. There's a little bit of tape on her. Um, She's she's two and two. Um, she's she's down to scrap. So I imagine she's gonna she's gonna come out and just put everything out there on the line because she hasn't had a full camp like I've had. So she you know I think she's gonna come out and throw down. Does does that obviously that's an advantage? But does that kind of change your maybe game planning going into the fight? Like maybe I need to rush this chick because she's you know not prepared for for kind of a full a full fight. Um, it doesn't it doesn't change my game plan. It's for on me to go out there, no matter what she does, control the fight, dominate the fight, control the pace, control the timing, control control where we are. It's just, regardless of what she does, that's my job. And you're, you're from Los Angeles, correct? I'm from New York, but I've lived in California since I was 18. I went to school up in Berkeley, so I've been out, I've been out here a long time. So you're going to have a lot, of, a lot of fans in the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we can't wait to watch you perform. Thank you so much for the time. I appreciate it. Thank you.